Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. As always, I'm Mercy, and a lot has happened since we've last met, so you know what this means. It's time for another Ask Me Anything. You fans send me in your burning questions, and I try my best to answer them. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, it's Ziangu. How do you make your music? Well, there's actually many ways I create my music. Uh, what I do first, of course, is uh, figure out what I want to make. I usually work on the song backwards, starting with the big stuff and then working on the little stuff like adding leads and cool sounds to the music. I use my DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, samples and live recordings to mix it together to create my tunes. If it's hip hop, I lead more into sound packs made by Producer Planet, mixing in some cool samples of my own. Like in Heartstrings 2, it was done entirely on my acoustic guitar and things I had around the studio like uh, my mom bought me maracas, and the glass tinging you hear in Margarita Mind, that's actually a root beer bottle I was hitting with a pen. So it's definitely weird, but it always gives fun results. All right, who's next? Oh, Garan Packs. Aside from music, what other creative venues like arts, crafts, architecture, etc., are you interested in and would like to dedicate time to? Honestly, I'd like to learn to do 3D animation or paint or draw. <laughs> Let me tell you, and Cable can agree, my doodles are horrendous. Uh, my painting is only okay because I took tips from Bob Ross. Bless that beautiful man. I like to wash brushes. <laughs> All right. I mostly stick to music because I barely have time for this, let alone another hobby. But my dream goal is to draw. All right. Oh, Black Knight. Are there any songs that you gave up on making that you wish you could try again <sighs> actually yeah this one's gonna get heavy but my big mentor in this industry is a man called Arvo to me his music is ethereal and hauntingly calm I contacted him back when I first started this music gig and wanted a collab this guy literally sends me over a music track that was so alien so professional I didn't dare touch it you ever look at a final boss, knowing damn well you have to grind to even touch it? Yeah, same energy. I've upgraded my equipment since then, and I wanted to give that song the respect it deserves. Arvo, if you're watching this, I never forgot. I just don't want to let you down. Don't want to meet your heroes, they say, right? Moving on. PW, how can I be cool like you? <laughs> Well, in order to be cool, you have to remain calm, collected, and treat everyone with the same level of respect. Be on the same playing field. Take it from an expert of coolness. Mercy, you can't even make your own phone appointments. Hey, I can too. It's just sometimes I get a little nervous. It's whatever. Anyways, hey, it's Lady Meatshow. Why does that name sound familiar? Which album song was the hardest to create? <laughs> well, honestly, none of them. I have fun making these and they kind of come to me naturally. If I had to say, it was bad luck. I've had lots of issues with my music software during it and it damn near lost 23 minutes of songs due to it crashing and me forgetting to save. And I put myself under a time limit, so I was uh, scraping that deadline. Oh, another message from a crab named Tempest. What is a talent you have aside from making music? Well, another talent I have is one I use every day. I've trained my voice for years to have high notes, low notes, and I've conditioned it to be a great speaking voice for narration. Thanks to Steve Bloom from Bloomvox Studios for putting me in the right direction. The guy literally voiced Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. I used to take classes under him and it helped me out a bunch. Alright, Cybernetic Cupcake asked, What advice do you have for those starting out with online content creation? Honestly, I want you to close your eyes for a bit and imagine this. You're a street performer on a street corner. You're working away at your music and playing, but no one seems to care. No one is listening and is walking past you. It makes your heart hurt, right? Don't stop. Keep playing. Trust me on this. 
The more and more you do your own thing and you build up your empire in the shadows, the more people will stop. And soon, you'll have a wonderful audience. So don't try until you succeed. Do your own thing. Don't make this a job. This is your hobby, your craft. You made this. Do your own thing and let everyone else stop and watch until you have enough support to do what you do. Oh, it's another message from Garonpax. Who does your super awesome player models? This wonderful guy named Garonpax, of course. He's talking about my 3D models I use for my concerts and events on VRChat and Tower Unite. This guy is nuts. Even if you just need a 3D model, this is your guy. Don't forget to visit Mojave Customs today. Link in the description. Alright, who's next? Hey, it's my narration boss, Tats. I was going to ask why you chose your persona as a skeleton. Well, there's no definitive answer, but I can kind of narrow it down to me being a little kid and watching a show called He-Man, Master of the Universe. And uh, my favorite character from the show was Skeletor. What? Go figure. Every time he came on scene, I just, it lit up my world. And I loved his voice, I loved his humor, his laugh. Not mumbling, you meatheads. Rumbling, rumbling. Back up, muscle boy. I have you now, you muscle-bound oaf. You furry, flea-bitten fool, I'll cover my throne with your hide. You overgrown fur coat, you let him get away. How, like, nothing went right for the guy. No matter, like, how hard he planned, everything just kind of went topsy-turvy. And that kind of... That's my humor right there, you know? I love all of his quips and his anger and his jokes. Um, a, a lot of it's uh, been impressed on me. But I have to say, it might not be Skeletor. It also might be Ghost Rider. It might just be that I think skeletons are cool. I can't really tell you a definitive answer just because I think I just did it. I'm like, yeah, ah, that's, that's pretty cool. You know, skeleton in a hoodie. And it just kind of got born from there, you know. And uh, my character actually started out as a Grim Reaper. Um, there's going to be some repercussions to that in the future. But uh, that it was a black hoodie he wore. Uh, he had a big scythe, and it used to be my old logo. If you guys pause the video when I pan into my studio, uh, you'll see a little tombstone with the old logo. Maybe you guys remember it, maybe you don't. But uh, no, it was super fun, uh, and I'm hoping I can touch into that in one of these OST reviews in the future. Alright, and the last one goes to Pickle Gal. Who's your favorite music artist? And also... We've been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended warranty. Well, my music favorites range, but my top six in no particular order are Axion, Too Mellow, Arvo To Me, Mount Takeover, NK Music, and last but not least, Focalist. Unfortunately, that's all the juice we got time for today. Thanks for stopping by the studio. If you're a fan of what I make, Feel free to drop a comment and subscribe to my channel. It's the best way to support me. One more. Check out the official website at studiomercy.neocities.org. Oh, and don't forget to get a drink on your way out.